In this video, we leave Sokotoa a long way behind and add several formulae, compound angle, double angle and identities involving reciprocal trig functions, which are the two formulae we met before, sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 and tan x equals sine x over cos x. We will use these formulae to extend our equation solving abilities and we shall also look at some ways of proving trigonometric relationships. The reciprocal trig functions. Let's start by meeting them. There's sec x equals 1 over cos x, cosec x is 1 over sine x, and cot x is 1 over tan x, or alternatively, cos x over sine x. Note that the third letter of the reciprocal trig function is the same as the initial letter of the function of which it is the reciprocal. Identities. We can now prove two other identities, starting both times from sine squared x plus cos squared x is 1. We can divide that by cos squared x, which gives us tan squared x plus 1 is sec squared x. Alternatively, we could divide it by sine squared x and get 1 plus cot squared x equals cosec squared x. Compound angle formulae. These are they. Sine of a plus or minus b is sine a cos b plus or minus sine b cos a. Cos of a plus or minus b is cos a cos b minus or plus sine a sine b. And tan of a plus or minus b is tan a plus or minus tan b, all divided by 1 minus or plus tan a tan b. Double angle formulae. We can use the compound angle formulae if we replace the a and b with both a's. We have sine 2a equals 2 sine a cos a. Cos 2a is cos squared a minus sine squared a, but could also be written as 2 cos squared a minus 1 and 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And tan 2a is 2 tan a over 1 minus tan squared a. Being able to write cos 2a in three ways means we need to be able to choose which version is most appropriate in any given situation. Special results. Before trying to solve some problems on trig functions, remind yourself of these special results. Examples. Number one. Prove that sec 15 degrees is root 6 minus root 2. Strategy. Let's find cos 15 degrees in third form and reciprocate the answer. To find cos 15 in third form we could use the compound angle formula for cos using a is 45 and b is 30 or 60 and 45 and using the subtracting version. So cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. Replacing a with 45 and b with 30 we have cos 45 cos 30 plus sine 45 sine 30. Cos 45 is root 2 over 2, cos 30 is root 3 over 2, sine 45 is also root 2 over 2, and sine 30 is a half. Sticking it all together, root 2 times root 3 is root 6, root 2 times 1 is of course root 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, so we get root 6 plus root 2 over 4. When we reciprocate and get 4 over root 6 plus root 2, we then rationalise the denominator using root 6 minus root 2 over root 6 minus root 2, which, as you can see, gives us a final answer at the end of root 6 minus root 2. Number 2. Solve 2 cos x squared x plus 5 cot x equals 5 between 0 to 2 pi radians, giving our answers to three significant figures. Strategy. Use the cot squared x plus 1 equals cos x squared x identity to reduce the equation to cot x terms only. Solve as a quadratic, then rewrite as tan x and solve using the cast method or equivalent. So 2 cos x squared x plus 5 cot x equals 5. We replace the cos x squared x with cot squared x plus 1 and then we multiply out the brackets, rearrange it to get a quadratic of 2 cot squared x plus 5 cot x minus 3 equals 0. We factorise it and then we say that cot x is a half or minus 3. Reciprocating gives us tan x equals 2 or minus a third. If tan x equals 2 then x is 1.11 radians, add on pi to get 4.25 radians. If tan x is minus a third, we start off with a negative value, add on pi to get 2.82 radians, or 5.96 radians. Number 3. Solve cos 2x equals sine x, again between 0 and 2 pi radians, but this time in terms of pi. Strategy. In this case, the appropriate double angle formula for cos 
is the one containing only sine x, i.e. cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Solve it as a quadratic, then use the cast method, or equivalent, and the special results, but in radians. So cos 2x equals sine x, we replace cos 2x with 1 minus 2 sine squared x, rearrange to get a quadratic, which we factorise, so sine x is a half or minus 1. Sine x equals a half has two answers of pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. And sine x equals minus 1 just has the one answer of 3 pi over 2. R cos x plus alpha, etc. One use of the compound angle formula is to simplify an expression such as 8 sine x plus 6 cos x so that it only contains one trig function. This then means that we can solve equations of the form a sine x plus b cos x equals c. R can be found by Pythagoras' theorem, and alpha can be found by firstly finding tan alpha by dividing one term by another, and then taking the inverse. Example. Write 8 sine theta plus 6 cos theta in the form r sine theta plus alpha, where alpha is in degrees to one decimal place, and hence solve the equation 8 sine theta plus 6 cos theta equals 7. Answers between 0 and 360 degrees to one decimal place. Strategy. As suggested, use the compound angle formula for sine and evaluate r and alpha, as described on the previous slide. Then solve the equation, again using the Cartes method, or equivalent. So r sine theta plus alpha is r sine theta cos alpha plus r sine alpha cos theta. Comparing this with 8 sine theta plus 6 cos theta, we have r cos alpha is 8 and r sine alpha is 6. Using Pythagoras gives r equals 10. And using tan alpha being sine alpha divided by cos alpha, we find that tan alpha is 3 quarters, and hence alpha is 36.9 degrees. So we can write 10 sine theta plus 36.9 degrees. When we put this equal to 7, we can divide it by 10, and then we can find the inverse sine, which gives us 44.4 degrees, or 135.6 degrees. Take away 36.9 from both of those, giving final answers of 7.6 and 98.7. Trig proofs. Time for some tips on proving trigonometric relationships. These tips are not exhaustive, but should give you some ideas of how to attempt a proof. They are followed by three trig proofs showing you where each tip has been used. Number one. Your task is to rearrange one side into the other side. We often go with a side that looks like it could be simplified. Maybe it's got more than one term. Maybe it's a double angle or a triple angle. Point two. Writing everything in terms of sine x and cos x is often fruitful. Number three, look at what you're trying to achieve. If it's a cosec x, for example, all you really want is a sine x on the bottom of a fraction. Number four, if you need to simplify for cos 2x, you have three choices. Think about which one might be the most useful. You might wish to cancel a one, for example. Number five, look for opportunities to factorise. Maybe every term has a sine x. Maybe you could apply the difference of two squares. 6. If you want to get everything in terms of either sine x or cos x, you can often use sine squared x equals 1 minus cos squared x, or vice versa. And 7. Know the identities. Remember that some of them equal 1. For example, sec squared x minus tan squared x, or cosec squared x minus cot squared x. Trig proof 1. Tan a plus cot a equals 2 cosec 2a. This proof uses tips 1, 2, 3 and 7. We start by writing tan a and cot a in terms of sine and cos. And then we add the fractions together, which essentially means cross multiplying, giving us a numerator of sine squared a plus cos squared a, which of course equals 1. So we've got 1 over sine a cos a, but sine a cos a is half of sine 2a, because sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a. So we have 1 over half sine 2a, which in turn is 2 cosec 2a, as requested. Trig proof 2. 1 minus cos 2a over sine 2a equals tan a. In this instance, we need to replace the cos 2a and sine 2a using the double angle formulae. Sine 2a only has one option, which is 2 sine a cos a. But for cos 2a, as mentioned in the tips, we want to cancel the 1. So we use 1 minus 2 sine squared a, and that leaves us on top with 2 sine squared a. The 2s cancel out. So do the sine a's, or at least one of them. And that leaves us with sine a over cos a, which of course is tan a, as requested. Trig proof 3. 
cot squared a minus cot squared a equals cot squared a cos squared a. And this will be attempted in two ways. Firstly, we replace the cot squared a with cos squared a over sine squared a. And then we write the sine squared a as cosec squared a. So we have cos squared a cosec squared a minus cos squared a. We can then factorise out the cos squared a. So we have cos squared a open brackets 1 minus cosec squared a. And of course 1 minus cosec squared a is cot squared a. And we finished. Alternatively, we could start with the right-hand side, the cot squared a cos squared a. If we replace cos squared a with 1 minus sine squared a, we can multiply out the brackets, and that gives us cot squared a minus cot squared a sine squared a. Then we can replace the cot squared a with cos squared a over sine squared a, and the sine squared a's cancel out, and we have a final answer of cot squared a minus cos squared, cos squared a. The end.